It's Easter Sunday and we had an early morning start this morning. The alarm went off at five o'clock and we have come to Seaford where Meridian are having their first match. It's my first match of the year. Kind of here just to dust off the cobwebs. Very happy to be back at a sea fishing match. Um, yeah, I've missed it. I've missed it a lot this year. It's been a hard old year, isn't it? But um, there is 30 people here. They've limited to 30 people, so they could have had more, which I think it's the most that's ever come to a Meridian match. So we've got Mick to, well, if I'm looking at the sea to my right hand side, we've got Joe Wales to my left, Joe from the Southern League. Um, very competitive field here. We've got Darren Bond, Colin Carey, Paul Stevens. I think Tony Kerridge is here as well. Joe Plumstead and Tony Royal who runs it. I mean, very, very competitive match. But today is very much about coming out, having a nice time, getting all the gear out. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Lovely and calm, you can see behind me. Lovely and calm. Um, so hopefully we can have a place. It's all about how you were with my parents. Yeah, and change their mind Cause you were sweet and looking like a care boy That was hard to find I caught feelings, I caught these feelings I caught feelings, I caught these feelings I caught feelings, I caught feelings, I caught these feelings Right, we've had two casts. It is 8.36. Doing about 15 minute cast today. Very slow. I don't think I've seen any fish come out yet. Um, so rig wise today, we've started off with clip down rigs. Fairly short snoods, hopefully after a place. Um, it's a two hook rule here. Um, so it's a bit different. We normally have a three hook rule at the Southern League matches. Yeah, I haven't seen any fish. I think Tony Royal might have caught something. I thought I saw him putting something back. Bait-wise today, we're going with fresh blacks. Uh, tipped off with a bit of rag, mainly. There we go, we've got some nice fresh rag. Oh, he's trying to bite me. <laughs> um, so yeah, very quiet at the moment. Hopefully, we can have a place in a minute. I think the tide's out now, and then I think we're fishing it two hours when it's coming back, I think. I haven't even looked at the timetables. I wasn't really very prepared for today. <laughs> it really was a case. I didn't just want to turn up and go to the Southern League. I needed to come and do a couple of matches. And I've actually signed up as a member of Meridian. Um, but it's a nice club, you know. It's a nice club and it's really friendly. Everyone here is just really nice. So that's the main reason why I'm here. And fished a few new venues because I've never fished Seaford before. Um, it seems like quite a nice venue. I can see Darren Bonds is pegged right down the other end in the high numbers what i'm hearing is i'm a little bit high in the numbers i want it to be about i think five or six some of that sort of peg seems to be the ones that everyone's talking about but um yeah we're on 15 so we're dead in the middle hoping for some more action soon what's happening then paul <laughs> just the one what have you had a place yeah how big 23. 23. Is there much coming up? No. 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 Think you got the shot. Yeah. That's about it. That's single. Well, I haven't had one yet, but. Uh... You're not alone. <laughs> 35, that one, wasn't it? Jimmy. No, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> 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 Don't do it. Don't do it, Jimmy. <laughs> well, at least we've got a fish on camera, mate. <laughs> How big is it, then? It's 55, mate. 16. <laughs> <laughs> 26. 26. What are you on, Joe? Have you missed that three or four? Three, mate. Three. Yeah. Someone's got a couple of big ones up there, don't they? 39 centimetre ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the bigger fish, mate. Them little ones, no good. I reckon I'm having a bit of a blank going on. <laughs> His mixed dog fish he brought with him, look. <laughs> he brings them with him, Tone. <laughs> Are you well, Tony? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all right, mate. Nice to yeah. see you. Nice to see you, right? Yeah, all well, good, mate. Have you had any fish yet? One of eighteen centimetres. That's all right. Around. One place, sorry. Hard work, though, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is, mate. I'm on a bit of a blank at the moment, Tony. But I'm sure things are going to get better. Tony's just told me he's got a book coming out 
Well, when's it going to be out then? Um, it should be out in about two months' time, but it's based on my life story, so it should be quite easy. That'd be, I tell you what, Tony, you've had an interest in it. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is yeah. it all the ups and the downs? I'm afraid it's all in there. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, Tony, I was generally really interested to see that because, um, yeah, I think you've had an interest in old life, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, it's uh, Paul Fennick wrote it from the Sea Angler. Oh, yeah, yeah I like Paul. He said he defies any angler not to read it, but it's um, to put it down. Fantastic, but, You know, we see. I mean, I don't know, but it, it's quite good. It's got everything in it. And yeah. Gravities and things like that, but the fishing life, so that's quite good. That'd really. be brilliant, Tom. Well yeah. done, mate. Have we got another blanker here? Yeah, another blanker. <laughs> We've got to get some in, can't we? Yeah, we will do. That's how it turns. When, so, yeah, how long have we got before it turns? Uh, ten past eleven, I think. Ten past eleven. We're fishing to one, aren't we? That's right, yeah. Right, so that's it. I can't have a blank on the first match back. No, that's what I say. Are you doing all the Meridian this year? Yeah, I'm going to try and do a few, yeah. There's one next week again, isn't there? Yeah, there's a Shoreham. Shoreham, yeah. yeah I'll try and fish that. It's just I nice. Fish the nomads, but I think I might come over to that. Yeah, yeah. I think I, should, I like Shoreham. Shoreham, that's a brilliant venue in the summer. You get all the it. golden greys and that. Yeah, I've not fished it. Yeah, it's a really good venue in the summer. I love it. I don't. I, it'd be similar to here. I would have thought next week, but same sort of tactics. Same tactics. Yeah, it's pretty right. simple, mate. <laughs> Here we go, Joe. Right, we're two hours in. I was a bit worried about the old blank, but we've got ourselves a place, and I really wanted to catch a place today. So really, really happy. About 28 centimetres. So it's not a monster. I think there's a 39 centimetre one that's been caught a few pegs down. But we are on the board. Um, that's sort of what I wanted to catch a place. I've caught a place. Happy days. You also get 10 points for each species of fish here at the Meridian as well, which is a bit different as well. So it's just nice to catch that first fish in any match. <laughs> it's 10 past 11, still only that one fish for me. Um, yeah, really struggling a bit in my peg. Uh, Joe Wales is next to me, he's not caught anything. I think he had, he's not caught anything for about a couple of hours. He had three fish, three place on the first two casts and he's not caught anything since. We've got Mick Webb next to me. I think he's had a couple, but I mean, there's not many fish coming out around me. Apparently, um, Colin Carey's had a 53 centimetre place, which is massive, um, which he's got really good points for. So he's he's in the lead, I believe. But the tide's just turning, so maybe the fishing's going to change in the last couple of hours. We've just got to keep plodding along. Hopefully, we'll get a few more out, but um, there's not much we can do, really. I can't really do much different to what I'm doing. Uh, you can sort of only catch what's there in front of you, but let's hope for a bit more action. I can see Joe Wales down there. I reckon he's got a little place, a very small place. Oh no, he's got two places, double shot. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's got two places. There's some random people walking down to Joe Wales' peg. <laughs> no, they're coming to my peg now. Brilliant. They're actually carrying their dogs, which I haven't seen before. Hour and a half left, Paul. What's going to happen then? We can have some more fish now. This is turning. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice I've had, I'm still on my one at the moment. It's really patchy, isn't it? I mean, you need to be down there a bit, but. It's Colin's it's winning up there. Where is Colin? Is he? But I think. Eight, eight. 10, 12. That's where you wanted to be. That's where it'll be one for still. Do you reckon it'll still be one from there, Jiz? Yep. It's uh, 25 minutes past 12, not long left, just over half an hour. I'm just trying a bit closer in. I don't think it's going to be a lot of good because everything's pretty much been caught a distance. We've got Mick Webb to my right. He's only had two plays, um, but they're smaller ones, so he's on 24 points, which is what I got for my 28 centimetre place. Joe Wales on my left. Hey, he's had. I think they're all smaller ones. I think he's missed around about six now. If I came here again, I'd do exactly the same thing. Um, they're sort of there or they're not there. And they're not really there in my peg. But we have got half hour left. It would only take a couple of big plays and I could still pull off a result. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see.
it's 20 to 1 and uh, we've got one more so the size limit's 18 and it's uh, 21 there we are it's not a monster but two fish has got me better than one <laughs> lovely day though I've had a lovely time hopefully we might have another one last cast um, beautiful weather I've never fished the beach before so it's nice to come to new places have a bit of a go all good good day not successful result wise but successful in the fact that we've actually gone out and had a fishing match <laughs> which is a uh, yeah, it's been a challenging year. So we actually managed to do a fishing match. Uh, it was good fun. It was great to get out. Nice way to spend Easter Sunday. Um, bizarrely, it was really nice on Sunday. On Tuesday, it was snowing. <laughs> so it's uh, been a weird old week on the weather. But let's have a quick look at the results. Obviously, for me, it was disappointing. It was very patchy, to be honest with you. Um, you had to be sort of on the right peg, I think. Uh, I probably wouldn't have changed anything massively if we went back there again today. Um, but there was about 30 people, yeah, 30 people that fished, and I came 18th with my 44 match points. Um, uh, that was just with my two place. Um, so who won? Colin Carey. Uh, he only had four place. But one of them was that massive 53 centimetre fish, uh, which will probably be the biggest flatfish call all year uh, at a Meridian match. I can't really see what's going to beat that. And um, those big plays, seem to, they, they're worth a lot of points on the um, size to points chart. They're worth loads and loads of points, so you need to get into the bigger plays. Second was uh, but, but Dave Falk, who had 10 plays, so he had lots of, I presume, smaller fish. Um, that was for 302 match points. Um, Eddie Ryder was third on peg six. Oh, I should say Colin Carey was on peg 23. Dave Falk was on peg eight, around that area we thought was going to do well. Uh, Eddie Ryder was on peg six, who came third he had eight place actually joe wales done very well who was fishing next to me he had eight place they were all smaller ones but he just kept plodding along and he got in the money so well done joe paul stevens also known as shaky was fifth he had five place so yeah i mean it was slow it was pretty pretty slow where was paul stevens peg 18 couple up from me uh, looking at them higher numbers, like Darren Bond was 8th in peg 29, and he only had 2 place. Um, Tony Kerridge, 12th, uh, with 3 place in peg 22. Joe Plum said he was up in peg 26, look, 2 place. I mean, it was a bit of a struggle. That's a 5-hour match. So, um, look, it was nice to get out. The good news is uh, there's another match on Shoreham this Sunday, another Meridian match, and I'm going to give it a go again. So hopefully, I think it'll be similar kind of tactics, um, and hopefully we might have a couple more fish on camera, uh, but I'm quite enjoying it, if not. So if you haven't done so, give us a subscribe on YouTube, and uh, yeah, the next video is going to be up pretty soon. Take care, gang.